Um, you can disagree with each other or you can just comment. Um, we do ask that one person talk at a time um, because we are tape record. I mean, we're video recording this so that we can remember everyone's answers. Um, nothing you say will be associated with you or um, anything that you believe in. It's just solely based on your opinions. Um, the subject is going to be the HUDS program. It's the Bison Connect Alert HU program here at Howard. So um, that's what we picked for our project. So I'm um, just going to do the formal introduction. I'm Sasha Burns, Senior Marketing Major from Chicago, Illinois. DeAndre Aubrey, uh, Senior Marketing Major from Los Angeles, California. Uh, Julian Mosley, Junior Marketing Major from San Juan, California, home of the World Series reigning champion, San Francisco Giants. We are recording this, so um, yeah. <laughs> and um, we have one more member that's running late, so. So just to get started, just by a show of hands, how many of you all are signed up for the Alert HU program? Like to receive the text? Yeah, the text messages that they send, oh. like when it's, you know, weather or anything, crime. So, one, two, three, four, it's my name. Hello. Oh, I didn't know. I wasn't outside. <laughs> okay, so five out of what? Like 15 or something? Okay. That's not really that good. So, the goal of this project is like they're trying to get 100% you know, registration. And I mean, some of us, you know, we haven't had the best experiences with campus police in our years here at Howard. I'm definitely one of them, but because I see what they're trying to do and because other colleges actually have to pay for this program, like it comes in their tuition, we get it for free. So they're like, why aren't we having people sign up? And it's not just students, it's faculty as well. So at the end of this, we'll give you the information so that you can register. Um, and we're developing new ways that we can try to get more people to register. So um, I guess one of my first questions would be, would you ever pay for this type of technology? Yes or no? No. You don't pay. Okay. Why not one person? Mm -hmm. Well, personally, I've managed to like not get attacked or kill myself since I've been here without it. So mm -hmm. paying for it. Okay. Anybody else? Why you wouldn't pay? Go ahead, Kevin. I feel like, given the area that we do live in, it should be kind of, you know, mandatory. Mm -hmm. Because basically, I feel like Howard administration should have the students, you know, well-being on top of anything else. Because we don't live in the best neighborhood, so why, why would we pay for something like that? Right. Well, just to name, the schools that do pay for it, I believe, are American, Georgetown. I feel like it's a school in Miami. They're better. Columbia pays for it. Like, it's actually, like, included in their tuition. Like, you know those mandatory fees we got to pay? They have to definitely do that. We'll talk about that in a second. So, well, just say the you got a question? Yeah. I was going to say, I would first say pay for it because a lot of those universities are closed campuses. And so, like, they have the opportunity to, you know, they don't have as many people, as much traffic going in and out of their campus now with ours being an open campus. And in my experience, uh, speaking of I statements, I don't see campus police as often as I should see them. Mm -hmm. So I feel that the least that they could do is provide that service to notify me of anything that's going on on campus or in the community. Just Especially when we get crime alerts every day. Like, every, <laughs> such and such has been shot. Such and such has been stabbed. And be like, ooh, I'm not taking it that way today. Like, it's not like it's like every now and then. Almost every day I get a crime alert and my mom's calling me because she's having a nice It's actually better than what it used to be, though. Like, when I was living in Slow, yo, we got stuff like twice a day. And it was just like, okay, for real, I can't even walk home now because of all the stuff that's going on. So it's a lot better. Um, and I was going to tell y'all, here, let's run back real quick. Um, they actually have like a panic system now. Do y'all remember how that was? Why don't y'all explain that to them? I mean, I think you have a better. All right, so pretty much, I mean, I feel like with the system that you guys think you guys signed up for is different. You guys just get the text messages, right? 
that's when you guys got. So it's a new one where it's pretty much you put in all kinds of stuff. You put in like your, your a picture of yourself, your weight, your height, and all this other stuff. And pretty much you sign up, give them all your information, and then you have like a speed dial on your phone. So when you're in any type of situation, you can press that button and it finds your location. So it's kind of like Big Brother watching a little bit, but it only pops up when you press the panic button so they can find you right when you. Oh, the only issue, because I remember when we got when we got to the quad, they did have that little meeting with that really buff officer, and he told us about this. My only issue with that was, okay, let's say I'm getting mugged. I probably don't have the time to, like, let me press five, like that kind of thing. <laughs> you know, I agree. I agree. But the thing is, like, there's really going to be nothing that you can do in that situation, but the faster right. that you can reach out will probably be the better. So as soon as you do get mugged and you still have your phone, if you can speed dial and they can come right away as opposed to running to one of the blue lights or trying to find another phone call, you have a better chance. So it's not, True. it's, yeah, it's going to be hard to get 100% with True. True. There, so It's just something to help a little bit. Nah, yeah. I just had a comment, mm -hmm. a rhetorical question. Mm -hmm. Um, now, when you press that button, how long is it going That's to take thing. for yeah. them? Because yeah. there has been incidents that have happened in the quad. As an RA, I've seen it, and it'll take them 20, 25 minutes. By that time, somebody is already gone, yeah. did this, did something exactly. else. How long is it going to take? I mean, so they, they, they say that they're working on it and they will be there within minutes, but at the, at the end of the day, it's up to them how fast they get there. So they be asleep. <laughs> so the other feature, too, that is new is that if you're like, say it's like late at night and say you're in a library and you're about to go to McDonald's or whatnot, um, I forget the particular name for it, but it's a system where you can text them and yeah. say you're about to leave mm -hmm. and you're about to go down. And if you don't text them back within, let's say, like you tell them how long it should take, like 10, 15 minutes, if you don't text them back, then they automatically come out and look for you and search for you. So that could also be useful. Yeah. 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 I don't know about that. That's good. So knowing this information, so knowing this information, would you now sign up for it for the 10 odd people who don't have it? If I wasn't already signed up for it, I still wouldn't sign up for it. Because how are this is so scary. Right, it's about the integrity of the officers. Yeah. Like, so what well, we got all this great technology, but most of them, they don't care. Like, they no. They be too busy trying to get with the students. I don't see that. They don't have any time. <laughs> And then they walk, then they send some stupid thing to your dorm. Your thing has been processed and put in the bill, and that's it. After he almost had me die, oh my God, I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw an incident before I walked up here with a campus police officer. I'm um, already down in Carver, and she came in um, asking, "Where's the courtyard?" Like. We don't have a courtyard, sweetheart, and she was convinced that we really did. So it's like our own campus police officers don't even know our own campus to protect it. So it's like, how how do you expect me to invest in something that you know the the, the people who are providing the service aren't even informed about? So I feel like to pay for it would be ridiculous. It the hell they should be paying us for it just to use it. <laughs> I feel like we don't care for the self help fee. So, so with that said, so if you have more trust in campus police, would you be more compliant and more willing to sign up for this program? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but they harass us, so I told you. They I mean, harass us. So. <laughs> you signed up with, with the one I said about. That's just the text message one. The, the raid, the whole raid. Not the okay. When they told us about the other two, about the tracking, whatever, when they told us about that earlier in the year, that had not been, like, confirmed. It, back when I was in RA training in August, they told us about it in training. Oh, this is what we plan to do. So mm -hmm. I didn't know until you okay. just said that it's actually up and running. Okay. But the other hugs, alert, I get. Yeah, okay. okay. And another incident is, like, me and my friends, I don't remember where we were. We were coming back from McDonald's at maybe 3 a.m., and we didn't. There were like a whole bunch of like gunshots outside. I guess they were gunshots. So we called campus 
escort. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah, we called. Yeah, we called campus escort. Waited for an hour, and then the guy was like, Are "Y'all drunk?" We're like, "No, we're at McDonald's." So y'all are obviously drunk, and you're high too. I was like, so we're sitting there like being harassed, and they're like acting like we're suspects, and we're like, "Can, can we just get a ride back to the pod?" Like. It's yes, just well, an hour. Because, you know, we we wait an hour just for them to get there, and then when they get there, they're yeah, just yeah. yeah. Well, we have to report all this. That's why we're having this focus group. So one, we can figure out what the students are saying. But just to also ask, just imagine that if you were over this, like either you were the chief of police or you were over this program, someone gave you this job that you had to do. What? Would you do differently um, to get students involved? Um, fire all my employees. <laughs> and actually, um, actually get some real policemen, not Bobo's baby cousin yes. nephew. Um, the uncle. Actually, get some qualified men to actually okay. um, police the campus and you know make sure the well-being of the you know well-being of the student body is their number one priority, mm -hmm. rather than them making out. With someone, because I've seen it this summer. I've, I heard all the we stories. We won't even see yeah. it. We won't go there. We but, um, okay. Krishna, you had a question. <laughs> oh, um, it wasn't a question, it was more like a response. Um, I guess in response to your question, I would go over what the protocol is for how they respond to. Because I just two weeks ago, and, and this experience wasn't even at late at night, like everybody's been saying three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. This was in the middle of the school day, two o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know if y'all know about that fight that was in Douglas where that boy got like oh, brutally yes. beaten in the steps yeah. right there by Douglas and the doors were locked. So the people couldn't get in to break up the fight and someone pressed the blue button. And I called campus police on my phone and the lady was so busy trying to get my student ID number and information about my classification, what school I was in, was I in co ops like what, what was, and I just thought that that was something that shouldn't have mattered at that time. Mm -hmm. What you need to know was I was a Howard student. I told her where I was. I told her what the situation was, like these are students' lives that were that that were in danger in the middle of the day. That's the scary thing about it. Like this is in a educational setting in Douglas Hall. So many people are taking classes at two o'clock in the afternoon on like a Wednesday. Like and I just think that the protocol of the way that they handled the situation, I don't know if there needs to be I would think that what you guys are doing now, if I was the chief, I would do that. Have sit down with a focus group and assess and see where our weak areas are and what we do need to work on in order to make it so that our security system is safer. <laughs> and then I was going to say, I wouldn't pay for it because of the quality of it, which is what we've all been expressing. Like, the quality of the security system is terrible. Whereas in American University, you see police cars driving around, so I would pay for it because I'm like, oh, I really feel safe. Whereas when I'm on Howard's campus, Every man for himself. Like, <laughs> no, to be honest, you know, like, when I when I came up here my freshman year, my dad was like, "I'm gonna get you some things so you get old enough." I'm gonna have to sorry to say this, but my dad he liked that a pistol because you never know. Because like, campus police just really don't do what they are entitled to do as campus police or Victoria. And um, I don't know if they have training. Just like in a business, like when you're always training your employees mm -hmm. for, you know, to help your company be more productive, a police station needs to train their policemen or police women to react quicker to mm -hmm. certain situations, how to right. interact right. with the victim or whoever, like I feel like they need a little bit more training in those areas, like extensive training, not just a day, it needs to be like a week, or like they need to go to some obstacle course, do they exercise too? No, they aren't. <laughs> Was it all students? Yeah, it was two students. Okay. And I would think that that would be even more reason why you should respond. I mean, I don't know. I, I just felt like it should have been responded quicker than it was. I stood there for 45 minutes after I called them, and I didn't walk up in the beginning of the fight. 
people said they were standing out there watching the fight. Not being, I don't know like, why they were standing there watching it. I didn't ask. I couldn't break it up because it was two dudes. But people said that they had been watching them fight for about 25 minutes before wow. I got there. Then they fought while I was standing there. And then it took at least 45 minutes to even come to respond to the. <laughs> Wow, somebody the only reason died. he stopped was because the dude just stopped beating him, but that could have ended up much worse. So if he had a gun, he could have shot him. It was so many people. It was in between class changes. People were walking in and out. Like it could have ended up much worse than it did. Thank God it didn't. But that's just yeah, that's good. Now these have some things that we have to talk about with them. But just as another question, would y'all use social media to try to promote? this project because like our goal with this is to increase <coughs> registration I mean ultimately yeah we can bash campus police all day we know how they roll but we still have to try to increase participation so would y'all use Facebook would you use Twitter would you invite your friends if you have the opportunity as a friend to you yes huh as a friend to you Aww, then yes great. but like okay. just cause just cause like just so oh. someone asked you to. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Be real. But it also goes back to the, the quality of the system. If it if it was good and I knew it really would help students, then I wouldn't mind tweeting about it or something. But why if everyone gets on it and it's still the same amount of nothing, there'd be you'd have no like inclination to do it. I think what about Quick question, what about if it was like extra credit for Flash, as you said? You sign up, we'll give you extra credit. You sign up, you want to add an extra point to your work point. Y'all have any other questions? Oh, DJ, go real quick. Uh, the way I look at it, like, personally, I follow the Ed Howard U account. Like, that's just my way of knowing when school is open and when school is not. Mm -hmm. So I would do the same for like campus police if there's an alert that they send out or whatever. Whether it's in my time, if it's in my timeline, at least you know there's an opportunity for me to see it. Wow. So that would be. But like another thing, I went to. Uh, uh, I went to um, a high school with about 4,500 kids. So, but out of all those kids, like. We knew our campus police officers, and I feel like at Howard we don't know them. Like I don't know your name, but I knew my officer's name, at least his last name, yeah. to say, "Hey, officer such and such." Yeah. And we could laugh, we could joke, we could do whatever. But I feel like that disconnect between us, the students, and campus police mm -hmm. is part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Like if we honestly knew them, we don't have to know your kids, or all that. That's whatever relationship you want to get to. Mm -hmm. But if I at least know your name, you know my face, I can speak to you. We can sit down, maybe have a five-minute conversation. How's class? How's work? Keep it moving. Like that's cool. Like I think that will fix part of the problem. And as far as the disconnect between the two. Okay. And yeah, I definitely think like when you ask a question about using social media to promote this program, I think in a lot of instances, things like Twitter and Facebook are more effective in like passing information that students need to know rather than this program because like, when like if things happen on campus I don't feel I feel like I can go on Twitter or Facebook and I can find out a lot sooner than I could have somebody from campus police like send me a text okay. or I think it's just a better way of like passing information. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I have any other Anybody else have any other comments? I just feel like for students to take it seriously, first we're going to have to have more faith in our uh, 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 protective system. Until that happens, no one's going to take it seriously. Mm -hmm. No respect. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, go ahead. Just a little comment. Okay, I feel like at this point it's gonna be really hard like i hate to compare it to this but that's like if you're in a relationship and somebody keeps lying and then when they actually stop lying and they're trying to tell the truth the other person never believes them same with the campus police they can try to change but how will the students see like it's gonna take a lot of time to yeah. rebuild that back then. i think it's because it's this is a future project i think you said it started in like 2008 <laughs> So yeah, three years later, I mean, they really haven't gotten that much further, but they're trying to see, okay, if we can at least get students now, then, you know, maybe they really might make it mandatory for the freshmen to do when they come in. Um, faculty, new faculty get tired, you know, this is something that they have to do to get their first paycheck. So I think as an ongoing process, they, that's what they're going to try to do to get 100% um, participation, but 
right now, you know, that's, again, why we're holding this focus group, to get the opinions. And, I mean, truthfully, if I was in y'all's shoes, I'd be saying the same thing. I mean, I've been in that situation where it's like, okay, I shouldn't see you on a Subway and punch out. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but ultimately, this is a project for us. We have to do yeah. This is what we have to do. In the building, so you can walk in here. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, honestly, yeah, it's going to be really hard to change the perception of campus police for the students that's here now, but it would have to like kind of drill in the students that are here now, but really start with the freshman class mm -hmm. and just kind of instill that in them. Because it starts when you're a freshman and it just keeps on going. It's like freshman, you know, campus police is not doing anything and it just gets worse and worse as you get on. Yep. So if you get started when they first get here, it's going to be even deterred, even if we start now for the first freshman class, because the upperclassmen would be like, you know, that might have an impact on their, their, uh, mm -hmm. their, their perception mm -hmm. of it, but there's more and more gradually able to get there. Yeah. It actually starts before then, because I'm a student ambassador for the university, and when I give my little spiel about security, because that's one of the main three questions that parents have, you know, I kind of, I feel like I'm lying, because I say, oh, well, we have 125 police campus office force, and we have, you know, I tell them about the HOL system, I tell them about the text messages I get, I've told them about the program where, you know, you text them and tell them where you're going, and then if you don't respond, I've told them about the GPS, and I tell them all those things as if students are utilizing it and everything, but it's, at the same time, the students have to go out and use it. Like, the students, you, yeah, these services are being provided, but it's like if the students don't step up and use it, or aren't notified that it's actually something up and going, then it's not going to be used, so... I just feel like as an incoming student, like it should be part of freshman orientation. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this is what you do. It was. Not for me. With my parents went to a um, a information session with the chief of police. But see that's your parents, not you. But my mom made me sign up for that little thing. Taking you back home. <laughs> so just so we can get a because we we're supposed to try to um, get as many diverse people as possible, and that's one reason why I said, oh, my rest of staff will do it, because I love y'all. But if y'all can just tell me, because um, I really don't remember all y'all majors, can, um, who's in co-ops? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm Technically. Oh, well, okay. Co-ops, I'm in co-ops. Five, six, one, back. Who's in the school of B? No, three. Four. 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 Yeah, social work, isn't that one? Yeah, Allied yeah. health. That's bad. Okay. Why are they missing the ball? <laughs> this is so <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, thank y'all so much thank for staying. Much. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah. I will be sending y'all oh, emails oh, yeah. tonight about Rush Fest. So. Oh, 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 o